Dante was in the hospital fighting for his life. When I got back to the warehouse, there was Sean and Mom all hot and sweaty what? adjusting their clothes. No, I didn't realize you'd come back. I didn't even see you. Yeah, well, I saw you. You're not denying it. Look, I can explain. Well, I'm, After I... Michael's gone. Why, so I can't tell him what really happened? They were hooking up. Not too far away from where Dante was shot. I'd be more than happy to clear this all up. I was just about to explain what really well, happened. It seems pretty obvious. But I didn't me, want to say anything in front of Michael. Because you wanted to protect him. Uh, Mom, I'm not ten. It's not like I don't think you have sex. Watch it. You should just be more discreet next time. Don't go like, there with when... me. Okay, and Michael, I need you to leave. I want to talk to your dad. Gladly. I'm sorry I made Michael uncomfortable to see what he Listen thinks he Listen to saw. me and hear me out. It is none of your business who I have sex with. Look, I want to make sure you don't call Jason and interrupt his honeymoon, but did he have some kind of a backup plan in place in case things didn't work out with Sean Butler? The bodyguard. Bodyguards are an everyday part of my life. You made sure of that. Yeah, but it doesn't mean you get to sleep with him. You gotta think about the time and the place. I, obviously, you're trying to make a point to me. And you being Mr. Professional, you, got, you can't mix business with pleasure. You know that. You are delusional thinking that I was trying to make a point to you after everything you've put me through, especially sleeping with Sean. We didn't do it. Okay, also oh, now, now you're unprofessional. You're also denying that you took advantage of the poor lady. I didn't take advantage and of anything. And he's not unprofessional. Well, I'm sure I can think of a lot And you to accuse words. anyone yeah. of taking advantage is just insane. Hey, hey, just hold up a damn minute here. And we are straying way off point. Like Carly and I having sex, well, it's a non-issue. Look, it worked as a nice cover-up for the cops and for Michael. It's better to let them think we're rolling around in coffee beans than stashing away seven bags of hydrocodone in your panic room, which is what we were really doing. We? So you were moving the drugs with him? Yeah, it was either that or waste valuable time that could have gotten Michael implicated uh -huh. if the police found us. Look, the cops were about to search the place. I was able to stall them for a little while with the bomb, and Carly knew about the panic room, so we moved the drugs in there. And we got locked in. I'm sure you did. Look, we couldn't risk trying to open the door and get busted with the drugs. We stashed them in the air duct, which cut off the air circulation uh -huh. and made the room get hot. Very hot. Okay. How'd you get up? A few hours later, I, I suddenly found myself pressed up against the button. So, you, you're telling me that I have a warehouse full of drugs now? No. You have a panic room with drugs stashed in the air duct. Now we've just got to get them out and dump them. No, nobody's doing anything, because you're fired. We've been over this. Jason hired me, not you. But Jason's on his honeymoon, so I can't really tell him what's going on, but this is my organization, which means I get to do what I want to do. I'm telling you, I don't want you working for me or anybody associated with me. Meaning me. Look, Carly, you know what? You do whatever, whoever you want to do, but it's, it, that's your life. This is my business. Sean saved your ass, and he probably saved Michael from going back to prison, and you thank him by firing him? How do I know he didn't plant the drugs? He didn't set me up. That guy's a bunch of garbage, he's, and you know he's it. He's a gun for hire. How do I know he's not working for the Zakars? He was working for that idiot Hoffman before Jason... You, when you were wallowing around in your pain because Brenda walked out on you and you were destroying your life, Sean stepped up to the plate. And now you're going to do this to him? That's a pretty passionate defense. Whatever you're doing, it's got to be working. Go to hell, Sonny. Look, you know he's working you because he's good at it. And obviously he's getting under your skin. The one who's not thinking clearly here is you. You need to get over yourself and realize you're making a big mistake. Sean has more than proved himself to be valuable to you and Jason, who handpicked Sean to fill in for him. He did it for a reason. No, no, that's okay. You don't need to defend me. There's really nothing to defend. You've got seven bags of bad stuff in your panic room. You want me to handle it? I will. If not, I suggest you get rid of them as soon as possible. You let me know. Certainly went out of your way denying sleeping with me. Look, I have no interest in getting sucked in whatever it is you and Sonny call your relationship. But that's fine. You just didn't have to make it sound like the actual act would be a fate worse than death. <laughs> what are you looking for here, Carly? Maybe you could act like I'm an attractive woman. You know, attractive women usually know they're attractive and been treated differently all of their lives because of it. Well, what about attractive men? Not exactly my area of expertise. So, are you saying you wouldn't sleep with me? 
Am I being proposition here? Uh, these really aren't the circumstances under which I can sleep. Okay, well, let's just pretend they're perfect circumstances. Would you sleep with me? That's what I thought.